Welcome back. Progeny is an umbrella program of Destination Innovation. They're working to reimagine the juvenile justice system in Kansas with a goal of eliminating the last prison youth prison in the state. They say a reinvestment in jobs, therapy and skills will create a healthier community for young people. Behind the name is a message. If our kids are making mistakes that are irredeemable, is, is their fault or is it how we raise them? At some point, we have to start taking accountability for what we created. Marquita Atkins Woods, executive director for Destination Innovation, uh, is focused on restorative justice. So we're talking about young people who got in a fight at school. They don't need to go to jail. We're talking about young people who are victims. Turning to data, driving her mission. It costs about $125,000 to $140,000 to incarcerate a kid per year. Now we only take $10,000 per kid per year in USD 259. It would be benefit us better to do preventative measures to keep our kids out of prison. Like Yusuf Presley, a foster child incarcerated at 16 years old. So I just started to refuse to take some of my medication and that failed my program. As a result, you know, they're, they were able to kind of do what they wanted with me. So that's that's how I ended up in juvenile penitentiary. Yusuf bounced between 100 foster homes before he got adopted. Have you ever went to go uh, live with a stranger? Mm -hmm. I always tell people to, to think about that. The stability of a loving home, creating a catalyst for change. Getting that sense of love that really created like something, you know, I had something, I, I cared for something now. Bound for a new path, he found destination innovation. Just imagine being locked up for months and months at a time, all because they can't find a home for you. Working as so a peer project, coordinator with Progeny. When you look at me with, without mentorship, where would I be? Shattering possibilities of future statistics. Any child that is in foster care has a 90% chance of being incarcerated at least one time. Just because you're in lockup right now doesn't mean that's where you'll end up at. You know, you can always turn your life around and find a path. Yusuf is working on a documentary about his experience in the foster care system and in juvenile prison. An air date for that, though, has not yet been set. I just love the story, and it's great to see, like, hear his story and see where he's come from and see where he's going, mm -hmm. especially, like, you know, wanting to keep the message going with the documentary. But then you also interviewed Marquita. You know, we both truly just have so much love for her. Um, with Progeny and with Destination Innovation, it is not, that doesn't limit what she's doing. She mm -hmm. works around so many causes right here in Wichita. And Destination Innovation has three umbrellas. Progeny is just one. And so uh, it's interesting. Each program, a part of DI, is so different. Um, and so, of course, Progeny is a completely different element and conversation that, you know, we're having in the community. Yeah, absolutely. And a conversation that needs to be had. Mm -hmm.